Everybody's, oh, Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams are getting married. Oh, oh, oh. No, they're not getting married because the only true marriage is between one man and one woman. It's right here in the Bible. Okay, 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 okay. I know I said I was gonna take a break from talking about YouTubers, but I thought I would just peek my head out a little bit because this dude thinks that Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams are going to burn in hell because they're getting married. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So a few quick disclaimers. First one is, I'm all about improving mental health. I am not a licensed therapist or anything like that, but I like to talk about different topics that affect our mental health. But this is interesting, okay? So bear with me real quick. Before I dive into this video that Raging Rob made about Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams, here's a little backstory. So I've been experimenting with a new series on my channel about people caring way too much about things that literally don't affect them. And one of the next videos I was gonna make was people care way too much about gay marriage. Like, it literally does not affect them, all right? And today, this just, fell into my lap. I'm like, oh my God, I was about to make a video on this and here it is. So decided I was gonna make a video about it. So anyways, this um, was uh, recommended to me by somebody in my comment section on the last video I think I made about BTS and check that video out. It's all about positivity, go check that video out. I'm like, okay, what is this? So I check it out and oh my Lord. So the other disclaimer I'll toss out there real quick is, I have nothing against religion, okay? Like much like 12 step programs, I think the idea of them are great, but there are people who make them bad. Not all of the people in the religion, but some of the people make, a, make them bad. And this dude, Raging Rob, is one of the reasons why I never dove into religion because I can't get behind messages like this, like anti-gay marriage. Like I am somebody, not only um, am I half African American, but I grew up around a lot of gay men, right? Like my mom's best friends were all gay. So I've never had an issue with this. I've come from a very diverse childhood, all right? And what's interesting is too, this guy, Raging Rob, he's from Las Vegas, and I've seen a lot of this in Las Vegas. So something here in Las Vegas, which is interesting, I'm sure it happens in a lot of other areas, is that there is a lot of religion trying, like trying to like recruit people, like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, like at, you know, at her school, or I've even encountered this at the grocery store, like people come up to you and they'll like try to like convert you and things like that. And it's not like your typical like Mormon missionaries on bicycles, or uh, Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on your doors. Like they are like coming up to you sometimes in packs and everything like that. But here's, here's the thing. Like here's one of the reasons why I believe a lot of people have issues with religion. And by the way, check out the book um, Religion for Atheists by Alan Day Baton. He's the guy who started the YouTube channel um, The School of Life. Great book, he's an atheist and he, in that book he talks about what we can take from religion. But like, I look at somebody like Raging Rob and I'm like, why would I want, why would I want what you have? So yeah, we do put, you know, us Christians, we do put them down here, way down here, just like child molesters and pedophiles because for the fact that they are perverts. Like why would I want to join this group of people who has this type of discrimination, right? And what's interesting is this guy Raging Rob mentions in his video that, you know, he has a loving, kind God and everything like that, but, you know, God's wrath goes on like, goes on to the sinners, right? And if I were to believe like that, um, that's not something I would wanna believe in. That's what uh, I like about 12 step programs. They're like, whatever your higher power is, you do you baby, right? And everybody has a different higher power. So it could be literally whatever. For me, it was like my sponsor, it was like the group, like I was relying on just like the fellowship of 12 step programs, right? Still do to this day, like I'm not a religious person. So when we look at this, it's like, I, I have to take a step back and look at that and say, why, why, right? Like when you look at like the, the 
um, what is it, the Westboro Baptist Church. You know what I mean? I'm like, why would anybody want to join that? Something that's filled with so much hatred, right? Like, if I was going to go down a spiritual path, which I have, just not a religious path, like, I wouldn't want something that's going to make me angry. And this dude, Raging Rob, is pissed. He is pissed that Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams are getting married. What happened in Orlando, Florida, was punishment from God. Because God's going to have his wrath on thee, on those that persecute his people. Like, this dude is so pissed off that he's even denouncing Keemstar. And this dude used to love him some Keemstar. But because Keemstar is supporting the marriage between Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams, Raging Rob is furious about this. But that's all he does anymore. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, PewDiePie. That's all he does. And now he's retweeting this filth. But this goes back to like people caring way too much about things that literally do not affect them. Like who cares if people get married, right? Doesn't matter, two guys, two women, whatever it is. Like there are people like Elvis the Alien just did a video like a few months ago about a guy who was literally marrying like a digital figure or something, right? Like. Wherever you find love, like, oh my God, like there are so many people on planet Earth who are not finding love. So if you can find love and hold on to it, solidify it and do your thing. Now, if the argument is that the government shouldn't get involved in marriage and things like that, that is a whole different discussion. But this whole thing, like it must be a man and it must be a woman, literally, who cares? Like Raging Rob, watching this guy's blood pressure spike and veins bulging out of his head because Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams are getting married, like, this is why we need to have a conversation about mental health. Like, although you don't need a diagnosable disorder to get pissed off about gay marriage, like, if it's messing up your day, I think we need to take a step back and say, hmm, I might need to do some things about it, right? Like, there's been arguments like, what am I supposed to tell my kids, right? Be a better parent, you know what I mean? And, and here's the thing, too. Like, with so many um, young people, especially, like, when you look at, like, the Trevor Project, like, the Trevor Pro Project was started because um, a young boy who was gay took his own life because of the bullying and all those things. Like, we need to have a more accepting society. You know what I mean? And especially if people are trying to bring others into the church, like, it should be inclusive. It should be all-inclusive and quit worrying so much about what this person or that person or this person is doing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to heaven, do your thing, follow your path to heaven. Like, forget about all this other stuff that, that should not be affecting you, you know? And then he goes on to say something that I find very hypocritical when these types of rants come out is that, uh, uh, people who are in the LGBTQ community are taking things from the Bible and twisting them to their own perception of it. And like, here's the thing. That's what a lot of fundamental Christians do as well. They twist it to be whatever they would like it to be. And that's one of the reasons that I'm just personally not a huge fan of like going off of like ancient texts. Like, just for example, and 12-step programs, again, are not religious, they're spiritual. Like, I love going to book studies. I love going to big book studies because there's a lot of different in interpretations of the, uh, of the book, right? There's a lot of different interpretations of the 12 traditions and things like that. But, like, nobody's gonna, like, well, <laughs> hopefully nobody's gonna walk up to you in a meeting and say, your interpretation is wrong. You are perverting this message. But anyways, like I look at somebody like Raging Rob and the dude has like multiple channels, hundreds of videos, and the dude is just pissed. So I know this video is like blowing up. I really hope, I really hope this kind of negativity and hatred does not affect Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams. I really hope it doesn't affect anybody else in the LGBTQ community who stumbled across this video. Like if you're watching this and you are part of the LGBTQ community, like screw up. All right, like screw those people. Like save your time, save your energy. Do not let those people rent space in your head. You do you, baby girl, all right? Love who you're gonna love, marry who you're gonna marry, live with who you're gonna live with, date who you wanna date, do your thing. Like we have such a limited amount of time on this big ball that we call earth there is too little time to be worried about what other people are going to think about who you're going to love and there's way too little time 
to care so much about who is going to date or marry who, right? There are far more important things that we could be putting our attention towards when it comes to just living our day-to-day -day lives, right? And that is something that I try to do on a daily basis to improve my own mental health. It's like, I try to like compartmentalize things and saying, things that I really should give a fuck about and things that I should not give a fuck about. And something that I definitely don't give a fuck about is who is going to marry who, all right? And it is phenomenal how much better my day goes when I do not give a fuck about that stuff, all right? But anyways, Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to talk about music and movies and things like that. I think I'm gonna make a Pet Cemetery movie tomorrow. Fantastic movie. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And don't forget, I just put up all of the answers for the monthly Q&A over on Patreon. So go over there and check that out, all right? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.